this is also fun. This is pretty amazing. Um, it does not happen. You will not believe this report from the UN. <laughs> It is uh, unbelievable. Okay. All we've heard now since Biden has been president-elect. And They're getting appointed, us back on the Paris Accord, right? They appointed uh, John Kerry as the mm-hmm. climate czar, all-seeing, all-knowing guru of the world. Yep. And he wants us back in the Paris Climate Accord. Has to be stronger. This is our moonshot. So the United Nations released its Emissions Gap Report 2020 yesterday, an annual assessment of contributions to greenhouse gas and carbon emissions. Now, get this. Okay, despite, they say, despite a brief dip in carbon dioxide emissions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the world is still heading for a temperature rise. Blah, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but get this. But for the United States, the real value in this report is as an advisory that it need not join the Paris Climate Accord. This report is Mm. evidence that instead the U.S. should just keep doing what it's doing to cut its own emissions. They Mm. say the U.S. is the most successful major country at mitigating its own pollution. Huh. (laughs) Okay. Uh, ha. Huh. Did you ever think you'd see something like that from the U.S.? Well, we've I never seen did. it. I mean, w- once this report was released, we've seen it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, except for telling us. N- no, <laughs> except for ex- the exact opposite. You've seen it everywhere, just like <laughs> Candace Cameron Bure and Lori <laughs> Laughlin look alike. That's how you've seen it everywhere. <laughs> In the same way. According to the report, the United States of America emits 13% of global GHG emissions. Comparatively, China emits more than one quarter of global GHG emissions. That is something else. Our emissions have been declining at a rate of 0.4% per year. Wow. So there's no need for us. to. We're already doing better than the Paris Climate Accord would have us do. Correct. Uh, There's absolutely no reason for us to be involved in it. And even the god-awful UN says it. That is absolutely amazing. I just can't believe they admitted it. And yet all we hear is Mm. that we have to rejoin. Trump did this horrible thing getting us us right back in it. It's just horrible. Yeah, but Trump, it's, he got us out. The, the world is ending. The earth, are, our waters are rising. The, the mm-hmm. sun is blasting the earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no. But no. no. But no. But none of that's true. And, of course, <clears throat> China, Russia, and uh, where? what was the other country? China, Russia, and I don't know, someplace. Um, they're all increasing their output of CO2 while we're decre- decreasing by a lot. Uh, it's just incredible. Oh, China, India, and Russia yeah, India. are on the rise by a lot. And China continues to uh, produce what amounts to a coal-fired power plant every single week. <laughs> <laughs> it's just incredible to me. But we're the bad guys. But we're the bad guys. We're the bad guys. So We're the bad guys. We just won't listen to anybody else. They all want our money. They sure do. They want the United States money, man. They sure do. All right. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Bless his heart, Donald Trump. Bless his heart. Said no. Enough. Yeah. Who who has overseen the Enough. last four years of decline in CO two? Donald J. Trump. None other than huh. it, and they acted like he was the worst thing for the environment. He ruined the planet. Yeah. He ruined the planet by getting us out of this thing. Right. I mean, they they hemmed their haws till they could hem their haws no more to keep mm-hmm. us in that Paris Climate Agreement. <clears throat> yep. And he still got us out of it. Yep. And no, it, we don't need to be in it. It was just amazing. According to the United Nations, not according Who to hates some, us. You know, some right wing kook. It's according to the stinking <laughs> right. United Nations. Amazing. Really, really something. And then you got the fracking lie uh, that Biden continues to tell. So who knows where he stands on any of these uh, environmental things? He, first of all, he's trying for the for the far left uh, of his party. He's trying to. He initially tried to uh, placate them by telling him he was going to end fracking. Then he realized that most, I don't know, thinking human <laughs> beings know that frack, fracking has saved our butts over the yeah, last thank you. thirty years. 
Uh, so where does he stand on it? I don't know. You tell me. I have never said I oppose fracking. You, you said it I, on tape. I did show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on. Would there be any place any for any fossil did. fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Love Biden it. administration? No, it would be, no. We, would, we would work it out. Mm. We would make sure it's eliminated. What about oh. stopping fracking and stopping yeah. new pipeline infrastructure? Yeah, yeah. New pipeline. And, and, exactly. and, and, no new fracking. Okay. you got to transition away from it. Look, you're going to ban fracking all across America right now, right? Hmm. I would love to. Yeah, I'd love to, too. I'd, I'd love, love to. to make sure we don't can't use any oil or gas, period. The look in my eyes. Okay. I guarantee you. Yeah. I guarantee you. We're going to end fossil fuel. We're not going to get rid of fossil fuels. I mean, over and over and over and over, he said it. They're ending fossil fuels. Well, fracking uh, is to extract fossil fuels. And he said it over and over again, except for the times that he said he didn't say it. Yes, right. Right. I never said it. Really? Because, and then he challenges. How do you challenge Donald Trump to put it on as well. That's the wrong guy to challenge to do something like that. Because he's going to, and he did. I wish someone would have sent it to him on his phone right then and just so he could have played it then. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been great. Uh, But look. Uh, Look, fat. Look, here's the deal. Look, look, fat. Look. Uh, Don't challenge me on any of this stuff. That's a good piece of audio too, man. I love it. That's that's another great audio clip from this year. And that was from this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as as was this senior moment of uh, Joe Biden. I remember, I got in trouble when I wanted to get Senator the Mormon. The Mormon. Uh, okay. I don't know his name. The guy I ran against. Uh, I don't know his name. Uh, the Mormon. You know the the ones who churn butter. He churns butter all the time. The mo- he can't go dancing. I think. And, yeah, they, you know they own the Coca Cola company, but they can't drink it. That. That guy, that that uh, the what's his name? Uh. <laughs> he could so during the course of the campaign, couldn't remember the name of his boss, President, my boss, President, my my boss. Yeah, Obama. Is that what you're trying to remember? Really? And then he couldn't remember the guy who ran against he and Obama yeah. in 2012. Ah, uh, amazing stuff. 